normal. Okay, right now we're gonna push the vertex in here. All right. Right now you have the very base shape of the fedora hat, and now we're gonna apply a subsurf modifier to it. Okay, you can apply the modifier here. Okay, the subsurf modifier. Or my favorite method is to use the shortcut Control One. When you press Control One in uh, object mode, you'll notice that it has been subdivided into many segments. All right, if you press Control Three, okay, you'll be subdivided to even more segments, and now the hat looks more like a hat. But if you look closely, you notice that it's very faceted. You need to smooth the faces out. So to smooth out the faces, okay, you can go to edit mode. All right, select all the faces or all the vertices by pressing A. Okay, press W to bring up the special key, and then just bring your cursor to set smooth. Okay, observe. Before it's faceted looking. When you press W, set smooth. Now it has become smooth. So now you have the basic shape of hat, which you can continue tweaking. All right. So now I'm gonna go back to edit mode, and I'm just gonna select one of the vertices here, and I'm just gonna push this rim back in some more, and do the same for the back. All right. I'm going to pull down these edges here. Okay, let me control Z to undo. Good. Okay, holding on the shift and middle mouse click will drag, will pan rather. Alright, one of these vertices here, I'm going to put it in worse. Pull this down. Pull this down. Alright. So as you can see, you can still carry on modifying the shape of the hat. Pull this out a bit to give it a more wider base so that it can fit my character's head. I'm going to pull this thing down in just going to pull it in to create the portion where the person grips the head. Push it in some more to give it a taper. Right, if I go back to object mode, you can see we're pretty close. We almost got a fedora hat. Now, if you notice here, you notice the uh, transition from the rim here will be a bit too soft. You want the edge to be harder. There are a couple of things you can do. Okay, I'm going to show you two methods. Okay, you can select the entire edge here. Let's go to edge mode. Go on to alternate key and right mouse click, and then the entire edge will be selected. Okay, you can use the crease method. Okay. By pressing Shift E. When you press Shift E, you activate the crease tool. So as you pull, you notice the value on the lower right, right? You can increase the value to make it more crease. So you got a harder looking edge. Now this is one method, right? The other method, I just right mouse click to exit from it. Okay, remember Shift E. E. Shift E gives you the crease with the edges selected. Shift E allows you to crease the selected edge. Another method will be just add another edge loop along the rim here. Now to add the edge loop, the shortcut key is Control R. Control R and then moving the cursor over the vertical edge here, you can left mouse click and then you can drag up and down to specify where you want to put the edge. So I'm going to use this method and I'm going to click the left mouse button again just to finalize the position of my click. So now I got a harder corner looking here. So that's pretty much it. Now we got a fedora hat. Now if you're concerned about the edge here being too sharp, you can give it some thickness. So let's go back to edit mode again. Go on to alternate key, right mouse click along the rim. So the entire edge is selected. Again I'm gonna hit E to extrude. 
right I'm gonna lock it to the Z direction okay so I'm moving along the Z axis okay I'm gonna press E again to extrude so now I've got another rim I'm gonna hit S to just scale it inwards slightly let's move it down a little bit so I'm gonna hit tab again so now I have got a little bit of thickness to it so once you're happy with your head, you can finalize it by applying the modifiers. Okay, so I'm going to apply the mirror modifier first. Make sure your modifier is the first in the modifier stack and I apply. So now the mirror has been applied. Now it's been treated as one single object. Now for the subsurface, I'm just going to apply it. And now it has been subdivided to a high re resolution model. And that is how you create a fedora head using Blender. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy making it for you.